Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. Just like we do almost every week now, we're going back up to the Great White North. Uh, just when we thought the war between the Blood Family Mafia and the Hells Angels was done, at least on North American continent, uh, it's not. Uh, it, things tamped down for a couple weeks. There were reports in the news that that it, it was over with. The Hells Angels in Quebec City met with uh, the SQ and other police departments in March and declared uh, everything done with. But according to law enforcement, about an hour and a half north of Quebec City in a region of Canada uh, referred to as Suguenay, um, we have flare-ups. And there have been three uh, shootings that are related to, according to the law enforcement, uh, related to the acrimony in Quebec City, uh, three shootings in Suguenay, uh since April 15th, I believe. Uh, one was a clear attempted murder. Uh, a guy who they're, they're saying is a, a 60-year-old um, I'm not positive uh, who he was affiliated with. I've heard that he was a Hell's Angel affiliate, but that's not confirmed. Uh, his car was sprayed with bullets. He survived that. Uh, a couple other arrests have been made uh, where hit teams were caught before they could commit hits. Uh, a couple of these have taken some. A couple of these arrests have taken place near Quebec University. Uh, one was in a, hel a hotel parking lot on Talbot Boulevard or Boulevard uh, Talbot, as they I know I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. I apologize. Uh, in uh, in Canada, where allegedly there was a Hells Angel target in the hotel. These people that are being arrested are alleged to be Blood Family Mafia affiliates. I don't know if they're actually Blood Family Mafia, but they're claiming support of Blood Family Mafia acting on behalf of. A blood family mafia uh and the up and coming possibly about to be dead uh be a bfm boss ice pick termel who's who's in europe right now running from the law running from the hell's angels with a half a million dollar murder contract on his head uh this whole blood family mafia seems to be a movement it's not just a group uh, it looks like it has legs uh, beyond the three dozen or so core members that have all been locked up now for over a month because you got guys an hour and a half away claiming BFM. Uh, Termel's not even in the country. He's in Europe. Most of the group, if not the entire group in Quebec City is locked up. And you have guys doing their bidding an hour and a half away targeting Hell's Angels. Uh, so this is a whole new development that we kind of still have to digest and and see how it plays out. But these are reports. Uh, let's shout out to the Dirty News again, that great true crime blog out of Canada. They were on top of this really early. Uh, again, three shootings, I think, between April 15th and April 25th. Uh, and things are getting hot about uh, roughly an hour to two hours away from Quebec City. We know that in Quebec City, uh, those Hells Angels, they're kind of a family within the Hells Angels family. They, uh, I'm told they're, they're kind of run more like a, a mafia crew than a biker crew. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm referring to the Quebec City Hells Angels chapter. Uh, been around since about 1988. Uh, Mario Aguirre, Aguirre uh, the banana, Mario Bananas, uh, who was at the forefront of the um, the Hells Angels diplomatic council that went and met with authorities in early March uh, and declared that their issues with Blood Family Mafia were over. If you've been following us here at uh, OG and at Gangster Report, just three weeks after that, he was arrested. He's off the streets now in a big uh, drug and gangsterism case. And it's just it gets murkier by the day. Again, more, more, a lot more questions uh, than answers. But we'll, we'll always be keeping you updated. Marty Robert, uh, it doesn't seem to be 
shying away from this, uh, I'm told there will be a response um, that he is well aware that some of his guys are are being targeted and um, he's not someone to be trifled with. We know Marty is public enemy one, uh, public enemy number one uh, in Canada, trying to take over the entire uh, Canadian underworld, hostile takeover of the Rizzuto mob, et cetera. Blood family mafia is connected to Rizzuto mob. Rizzuto mob allegedly hiding David Icepick Tremel, who was on the run from Marty, Mario Bananas, um, after ordering the kidnapping of Mario Bananas' cousins and cutting off appendages, it's crazy. We know, we know, uh, we we know all about that. But we'll keep you updated on what's going on in Sugane, because that's the, the the new battleground about an hour and a half uh, out of Quebec City. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out. Mm-hmm.